Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to my free college basketball report for Thursday, March 11th, 2021. Free play coming up in college tournament action in just a moment. I want to tell you about a discount, a code that I'm going to give you that'll get you a discount on Thursday and or Friday over at DocSports.com. The code, if you want to write it down, is T25F, T25F. And uh, what it does is it gets you 25% off any daily or weekly package of any active sport from any handicapper, myself, anybody else at DocSports.com. And you can use this to get a 25% discount multiple times on Thursday and Friday. It starts at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Thursday. It goes through Friday night, 10 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, March 12th. Uh, so be sure to check it out if you wish. 25% off any daily or weekly package, any active sport from myself and any other capper over at DocSports.com and you can use it multiple times. Code again is T25F. What you do is when you click on that package of your choice, you type the promo code and you click apply promo code and you'll see a price adjusted immediately. Uh, basically, that's it. And then you process the order. Uh, if you do have any questions at all, call into the office toll free 1-866- 238-6696. 1-866-238-6696. And again, it's good Thursday, 7.30 a.m. Eastern through Friday night, uh, March 12th at 10 p.m. Eastern time. And again, that code is T25F. All right, let's get to it. Uh, Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference. Uh, we're looking at the battle between Niagara and Marist. And boy, the first thing you notice when you're handicapping this is that Niagara has played a whopping two basketball games since January 30th. They played uh, two games set against Siena on February 20th and 21st. It's the only games they've played since January 30th. They split uh, that two game set, uh, winning by two and losing by two in a very close series. So they, you would expect they'd be a little bit rusty going into this game against Marist, who's been obviously busier uh, than Niagara. But also when you look at what Niagara's done, I mean, they're terrible at both ends of the floor. 285th in defensive adjusted efficiency. Uh, not a whole lot better on the offensive end. Uh, their effective field goal percentage on the offensive end is 293rd in the nation. Uh, they hit just 32% of their threes, 46% of their twos, on and on and on. And on top of it, again, they just haven't had a chance to really develop that chemistry with all that time off. And Marist is no great shakes when it comes to the offensive end with metrics, but they've won three straight games going into this. Uh, they just beat St. Peter's Quinnipiac, Quinnipiac twice uh, in their last three games and I expect them to play well enough here to get the win. And the one thing about Marist is they are good for their level of play on the defensive end. They're actually 21st in defensive effective field goal percentage. They're great against the three, top 50. They're great against the two, top 30. Uh, so I think they're going to be enough on the defensive end to take apart Niagara and get this win. Uh, no blowout by any stretch of the imagination as far as I'm concerned, but a win nonetheless recommendation on Marist over Niagara in Thursday's college basketball. Also, don't forget to check out my free NBA video up and available right now also. Uh, don't forget that code T25F, 25% off. Uh, those uh, daily or weekly packages of any active sport for many of us cappers at DocSports.com. Listen, I appreciate you guys watching these videos each and every day. If you like them, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer. Let's put them in the win column on Thursday.